Today is July 23rd, 2024. <laughs> the Lord wants me to get on here and uh, share a quick testimony with you all before I take this next call. So this happened yesterday. And the Lord just said, the attack on your voice. It was like a prompt. The attack on your voice. And so I knew he was going to speak, and I, I went, and I got my notebook. And this is what he said. There was a muzzle on you in the spirit, an actual gag. He reminded me of these words I used to say as a kid when I thought something was gross or nasty or disgusting. He said, you used to say, gag me with a spoon. When you were a child of wrath, all you did was condemn my people. Telling them to go to hell and drop dead. Your words brought death everywhere you spoke them. You cursed many people with the voice I gave you. You were slanderous. Your speech was hateful. You love to gossip and many times, excuse me, assassinated the character of others, causing discord, strife, contention, and division. You planted many seeds of doubt and discouragement, using your God-given voice as an instrument for evil. Your words were full of bitterness and motivated by jealousy and envy. So I allowed Satan to distort your voice and rob you of your authenticity. This brought you much torment. You got tired of explaining to yourself when people asked why you talked that way. You became a chameleon that would blend into whatever environment you were in. The devil used this to his advantage. You were well liked by many, but the ones that didn't like you despised you. You were laughed at, mocked, and bullied for your lack of authenticity. <sighs> this brought with it much shame and frustration you are gradually becoming someone. Lord, help me. You are gradually becoming someone I never created you to be. Curses of hopelessness, agony, and despair were spoken over you by your mother's friends, followed by curses of anxiety, panic, confusion, and depression. The majority of these attacks were to make you insecure about speaking. Your voice became monotonous, dull with no effect. It lacked any trace of joy, confidence, or enthusiasm. This was very off-putting to many people. You would trip over your words. Sometimes you would go to articulate your feelings, but when you tried to vocalize them, it came out scrambled. Praise God. You felt misunderstood by many. This too caused much frustration and discouragement. There were many times you should have spoken up, but there was a deaf and dumb spirit that would silence your voice and restrain your speech. This was from countless times of being told to shut up. Later on, a sort of impediment 
that would at times cause slurring in your speech showed up. You had trouble enunciating your words or speaking them clearly. Many times people would tell you to repeat yourself because they didn't understand you. This caused much discouragement and agitation, making you increasingly impatient. A spirit of terror gained access to you through domestic violence. When it manifested, your voice would shake. This would happen any time you were put on the spot. Had to speak in front of an audience or group. This is where you developed a fear of public speaking. This is where you stop raising your hand in class or offering any feedback when class opened up for discussion. You recoiled. You retreated. Shame caused you to become withdrawn. Isolated. You felt alone. This caused extreme sadness and sorrow. You realized one day that your confidence would skyrocket whenever you drank or did drugs and you liked how that felt when you were under the influence or in an altered state where people thought of you no longer mattered. You didn't care. You used your words to entice and seduce people into sinning. You became cunning and devious. You enjoyed the drama it caused. You reveled in it. You laughed at other people's misfortune and even became a bully using your words. You wanted others to hurt like you hurt. There were times they would attack your breathing and your throat would close temporarily or you would almost choke. I wouldn't let them kill you but I did allow them to muzzle you. But oh, how you have changed. Your words have become gracious. Praise the Lord. Seasoned with salt. They are filled with compassion and love for my people. Glory be to God. They are filled with gentleness and understanding. They bring edification and encouragement instead of tearing down others. I am a God of just weights and measures. But I am also a merciful God, a broken spirit and a contrite heart I will not despise. You have cried out to me many times asking me to restore your voice. And my response was that my grace is sufficient. You who used to sing, your voice was lovely once. But the lyrics you sang to were full of lust and perversion, pride and hate, vengeance and murder. Now you will sing for my glory. You will praise me all across the world. Such a lovely sound will come from you, Angela. It will astonish the hearers who heard you sing in the past after your voice was attacked. I'm calling off everything meant to silence you, everything that distorted your identity, everything 
that has been attacking the sound of your voice. Pitch, tone, inflection, and even your ability to speak clearly, confidently, and concisely. You will no longer feel like you have to fight to speak or project your voice. You will naturally be able to project your voice without straining. The battle is over, says the Lord. I went through massive deliverance for this yesterday. Renouncing a lot of things that he mentioned here and just um, apologizing to Jesus. <laughs> just saying, I'm sorry, God, for the rotten person I used to be and thanking him that I'll never be her again. Praise the Lord. This, this is not complete, the deliverance. He wanted me to tell everyone that um, they're still continuing today. And there was a time where I thought I was being delivered in the church and he just let the demons that were attacking my speech manifest for hours. But he said, you can't call off in my name something that I brought upon you. The only way that's going away is if I withdraw it, if I call it off, if I cancel it, if I give the command. I'm thankful that this battle is finally over. <laughs>